Hey man, stay safe world. Y'all already know what's going on. We gotta talk about this situation with FN Makeup. Man, he's the first, the world's first AI rapper, but there's a darker side to him. It turns out that he's low-key a racist, man. It's kind of crazy to think about. We're gonna get right into everything and why I'm saying this, and it's kind of like a trending topic right now because he's for some reason blowing up even though he's not even real but we're gonna get right into it right now so fn makeup is recently like this ai rapper that for some reason i don't even know if people like him or not but he basically is just blowing up right now on some artificial shit he got signed by capital records apparently and like it's just you can't escape him on social media but one of the things that is super weird is he literally be violently saying the n-word like it's all good like he's like takashi 69 or some shit but it's it's some crazy shit because if you look into it the creator of fn mako is some fucking like white guy and like it's basically all white people and it's yet to see apparently people are saying it's voiced by a black dude but i don't really even see anything like that i think it might be voiced by a white person but and it's kind of like comical at a certain point because it's like bruh like how did they even come up with this concept and why did they need to add that part into it it's kind of like just mad random like you could create anything in the world that's an ai robot and you're choosing to create some bootleg ass robot that be saying the n-word for no reason and no one really even bucks with them in the first place i don't know who thought it was cool to make an nft a goddamn rap artist obviously like niggas are gonna be competing with robots and shit in the next 10 years y'all gonna have to learn how to make planes and shit like, basically back in 2021 the creator anthony martini explained to music business worldwide in an interview that he and his factory new partner brandon lee thought uh think that traditional a and r is efficient and unreliable so they de developed a proprietary ai technology that analyzes certain popular songs of a specific genre and generates recommendations for the various elements of song construction lyrical content chords melodies tempo sounds etc we then combine these elements to create the song uh, at the time, Martini noted that a human voice performs the vocals, but we are working towards the ability to have a computer come up and perform its own words and even collaborate with other computers as co-writers. One of the primary reasons FM Maker is facing much criticism besides with the raising number of black creators venting about the lack of credit they receive for their work and the trends inspired by them, as well as the growing number of rappers being criticized for the lyrics both in and out the courtroom. According to the Daily Beast in 2021, Martini compared his creation to another popular artist. You could look at a guy like Marshmello. He's not real for all intents and purposes either. He could be a digital being too, and it wouldn't make a difference to the fans of the music. So, um, basically, his the rapper FM Maker was created by white executives rep <laughs> and repeatedly says the N word, bro. Like, I don't see no niggas like we playing hot hockey. It's just so crazy. Like, I don't understand. Like, why? I guess they were like looking at um sort of the trends in music and said we need to make a fucking robot that says nigga but like whatever the fuck they were thinking man it's definitely not hidden i don't know how they thought this was a fucking good idea but you know like the fact that it's getting such a press run and no one's saying shit is definitely kind of crazy man and it's just kind of shows that this like people these white people they're trying to like they're trying to cut the fucking middleman out of rap music and cut the cut the black people out of rap music and start making AI, which is like kind of defeats the purpose. Isn't music supposed to be like your actual soul and shit, not just made out on a computer, obviously, but you know, I don't know if they're trying to do this just for fun or for cool. It seems like they're really kind of serious with the shit. Like they really got him fucking like getting ads and shit and probably going to get billboards. But it is the one thing that is super concerning is the fact fact that he's made by white executives saying the n-word man like that shit is like 
like it could have been it's kind of unnecessary if you ask me it's like why even do that like it doesn't it's not really necessary like look at yeet for instance like he's a whole white dude but he don't be saying the n-word so it's like it's not necessary to say the n-word to be popular in popular music especially rap music like no one really even wants that really like that they don't really be looking at it like oh we need that in the music but obviously it's a bunch of white executives and shit so like they don't know really what the fuck is going on they're just trying to find like analytics to do this shit so man it's it's just crazy but let me know what y'all think about the situation man let me know what y'all think about fm maker whether or not he's gonna blow up or go platinum or if he's racist or not man is he a fucking white supremacist tool i don't know we'll probably find out in the next couple weeks months years or some shit when we figure out what the fucking end result of this shit is but man you already know what to do make sure you like comment subscribe